Hello everyone and welcome back to Paleo Pines. In today's video we're going to be continuing our adventures with Lucky and hopefully finding our way over to Dapplewood. So if you go on to enjoy today's video please do drop a like, consider subscribing, and let's just jump straight into it. So alrighty, here we are, here is Lucky, and here are our quests. So we got find the Paris or Olifices, talk to Granny at home in Dapplewood, and clear the boulder. And I'm not too sure how we're supposed to clear that boulder, but I think it might have something to do with talking to other dinosaurs. So I think we're going to try and do that. Actually, wait, let me see what this does. Oh, Lucky's low stamina. Is there a way to get my stamina back up? I wonder if maybe we can uh, go to sleep and that will work. Yeah, let's start a new day. Because, I mean, it, it, it is a new day, so might as well. What you up to, Lucky? How you hanging in? Oh, what have you found, Lucky? Looks like my old flute. I used to play this all the time for you, didn't I? Oh, so I guess we needed to actually um, sleep in order to, like, continue the story. Well, why not? Let's have a toodle, shall we? For old time's sake. Alright, where is this flute? Here it is. Let's see. Oh. Oh, interesting. So the longer you hold, the bigger the bubble gets? Oh. You can, like... You can actually talk to the the dinosaurs and you can tell them different things. That's so cool. So I guess maybe we will actually be able to like talk to the dinosaurs. Maybe I've never had it. I'll keep practicing. Oh, Granny's back. Hi, Granny. How you doing? Bark my branches. Did you hear that noise just now or am I going flappy? My flute? Oh, that was you. We'll keep practicing. You'll get there one day. Alrighty, Roo. I woke up itching like a itch to there are a thing to plant some seeds this morning. I also literally woke up itching. Mary's spare bed gives me the scritchies. Oh, so I guess Granny's staying with Mary for now at least. But it'll have to do until I can get back home. Anyway, come on, come on. No time to dawdle. All right, come on, get your hoe out. Oh, I need to. Where? Where is? Where is my hoe? Oh, here it is. I got my hoe. The handy wee hoe gets the soil ready for seeding. Very important step. So go on, take a swing. Okay. Here, let's do it here. Oh. Oh, and they connect, too. There we go. You look like you've done this before. Right. Time to plant the goods. I brought a few seeds just to get you started. Well, go on. Oh, they're carrot seeds. Okay. All right. So I guess we just gotta get out the seeds and then we can just plant them. Okay. That's easy. I wonder if there's going to be any, like, different ways of planting different seeds and stuff like that. I can smell those carrots already. Maybe I should stand back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not done yet. You got that watering can Marlo gave you? Go on. Whip it out. All right. Uh, oh, here it is. Very nice. But you can't water without water, can you? There's a pond over there. That should do the trick. It's right here, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, time to get muddy. So, I guess... Oh, here we go. I see. This is fairly simple. Well, look at you. You're practically a farmer now. Listen, a couple of top tips before I leave you to your whatnots. Number one, don't forget the seeds, because nobody's going to buy a patch of wet dirt. Number two, water your crops every day. Well, you can skip the rainy ones, but you get what I mean. Finally, you might be surprised to discover what dinosaurs can do. I've lived here longer than anybody, and I've seen... Helpersaurs of all shapes and sizes. Why, I'll bet Lucky here has got a helpful skill. Look at those beautiful claws. I'll bet you're a digger, ain't ya? At a girl. Where is Lucky, actually? That's it. Lucky? Where are you? Where did you go? Oh, there's Lucky. I can just, just barely see Lucky in the background. Tell you what, as soon as those carrots have sprouted, come tell me and we'll celebrate you being a fully-fledged farmer. Well, you picked that up speedier than, uh, Styrosaurus? I think that's how you say it. I'm off to Pebble Plaza. Come say hello soon, kiddo. Will do, Granny. Um, okay, well, at least now we know that we can grow crops and stuff, and I bet with the, the crops we'll be able to sell them and get some some extra little shells or whatever but yeah let's see do i have any new oh i do here we go grow at least 10 carrots take the carrots to granny i got me okay so i think we're gonna whip out my hoe 
and we're gonna till the land a little bit so we can get some more carrots planted. I think I might have enough, but I think we're gonna put 12 here so we can keep two of them. And because it would have bothered me if uh, this one was not the same length as all the other ones. But that's besides the point. Let's get the carrots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and finally eight. And now it's watering time. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And it looks like there is actually like a limit on how much water you can have in your watering can. And it's uh, up at the top left there. So that's kind of funky. And I'm assuming these are gonna take a few days to actually like grow, I guess that that's the word. But for now, I think we're gonna hop on Lucky and maybe go see if we can communicate to some other dinosaurs with that funky flute thing so here we are and actually can we we can get rid of these okay that's nice i i'm very much gonna spend some time doing that i might actually do that real quick while, while we're here because i ain't a huge fan of this mess oh and lucky's back down to 10 so um is there a way to get lucky's stamina back up i'm not entirely sure it doesn't look like on here there is although it does say lucky would love more pen mates so i think maybe that's a sign we should go talk to some more dinosaurs so off we go and i think there were some triceratops oh Owen. Hi, Owen. Let me just get off Lucky real quick. Greetings, Beta Squid. I was just taking Bongo on his daily constitutional. Mary was asking about you this morning. She sounded excited. No doubt another crazy idea. You should talk to her if you can find her. I have no idea which way she went. Well, good to know. Oh, here they are. I found them. And they have the same little funky things as my flute, I think. Come here. Come here. Uh, okay. Purple? Red. Come on, come here. How do I get you to, to be my friend? Many failed attempts and dinosaurs later. Well, this hasn't been very productive. Is there the flute and Gallimimus? Oh, there there is a thing about the flute. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get back on Lucky, and I believe Mary should actually be like right up here, or at least this is her house, so I would assume so. She isn't here right now, I don't think. So we gotta go find her. Oh, here she is. Hello, Mary. Psst, over here. Shh, these Gallimimus are super skittish. I've been trying to study them, but they keep sneaking off every time I get close. Listen, really glad I spotted you. I was talking to Granny earlier and she told me you had a flute. You got time to test a theory with me? Promise it'll be worth your time. Sure. Zippity, I knew you were a keener the first moment I saw you. Come on down here next to me and pull out that flute. Okay. Let's grab the flute. Okay, you hear those Gallimimuses calling to each other? Kind of musical, right? They're dancing. I don't, I don't know about calling, but sure. I want to see what happens if you play a few notes at one of them. Okay. Well, hi. Oh, okay. Yes, look, look, look. The one's listening to you. Gosh, wait until Avery hears about this. He's gonna go bananas. Now I'm sure you've noticed this, but each species of dino has its own call. Just listen to the Gallimimuses for one moment. Ar, 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 ar. There, try to mimic that call with your flute. I think it was this. Ar, 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 ar. Wow, it actually worked. I've been following this herd all season, and this is the first real breakthrough I've had. I can't wait to document all this. You and I are going to be very good friends. I can feel it. Okay, let's all admit that was amazing. But let me show you how to take it to the next level. Let's see if we can gain its trust. Here, I'll hold on to some of your stuff. Your pockets sure are full. Wild Dinosaur Lesson 2. Every species has a favorite food. Here, take this spring onion. Now, nice and easy, just hold it out and see what happens. Okay, uh, let's hold the spring onion. Oh? <gasps> it ate my spring onion. Is that good? Ah, drat. Bite right. Gallimimus says, hate spring onions. I really should write some of this down. Let's see what else I got. Ah, carrots. Try these. Alright, let's try the carrots. I'm assuming that, um... Owen's book on the dinosaur diets might come in handy for trying to tame dinosaurs or whatever. 
that's the one. <laughs> Looks like you've half a chance to make a friend now. Let's go again. Give it another carrot. All right. So we can use the carrots for more than just giving them to Granny. Oh. Oh, the meter changed. Oops, sorry. I think it got too excited. That's my bad. But that's okay. Try to calm it down, yeah? Okay. Did that work? Beautiful. Now I'm about to let you in on a trade secret. You've definitely earned it. Have you had one of Pippin's Poppins yet? No. They're traditional fare from Poppins' homeland. Delightful little cakes, but honestly, they're a bit, er, crunchy for my liking. But that's just me. One thing I do know. Some of the dinosaurs go wild for them. Here, why don't you do the honors? I have the feeling it might just seal the deal. Okay, uh, yes. Crunchy Poppin. Oh, they look so yummy. They look like little cakes. Oh, he took it! To pet your new friend? Are you my new friend now? Are you my dinosaur? I get to name it? Okay, what should I name it? Hmm. What's a good name for a Gallimimus? I don't know why, but this guy kind of seems like a Steve. Not quite a Steven, but maybe a Stevie. Does that make sense? But yeah, I think I think we're gonna go with Stevie. Okay. Wow, that was amazing. Here's me with years of researching dinos, and you make a friend on your first try. Well, I wouldn't say it was my first try. I was just hoping to get close to them, but I'll wager this one's ready to follow you home. That flute. You think it'll work on others? So many possibilities. Like the Corythosaurus. Those guys are fast. They'd make incredible steeds. Oh, so I guess each dinosaur has like different speeds and abilities as well? Or dare I say a Styracosaurus. I've seen those charge straight through a boulder without even blinking, but they're notoriously hard to befriend. Oh, this might be the dinosaur that I need in order to get to Dapplewood. Now you'd better find the Gallimimus a Dreamstone pronto. Every dino needs one. Zipti, this is all so exciting. Wait until Owen hears about this. Alright, what's a dreamstone? Alright, wait, can I ride you? Oh, I don't I don't think I can ride you. But alright, Stevie, let's get you home. Lucky has leveled up. Oh, that's cool. And I guess uh Lucky gained more stamina too. Alright, well let's see. I think there was a saddle over here somewhere. If I'm not wrong, yeah, there should be one right here. Here. Can we use this? I want to give Stevie this saddle. Perhaps this will come in useful later. Or now? Maybe? Well, I need a dreamstone, which I believe is... Oh, that thing. Let's just put that back down. And I think there may have been one right out this way. Yeah, there's one right here. Can I pick this up? Oh, I can. Okay, cool, cool. So then let's head back over to our little house. And I'm not sure, but I feel like we might be able to just put it right in this pen here. So let's see if I can do that. Okay, let's put it in this corner right there. And now then, is there something I need to do over here? Oh, you can upgrade it. Okay, well, it is kind of dark out, so I'm assuming the game wants me to go to bed. So let's do that. And hopefully in the morning we can get Stevie to sleep at the dreamstone okay owen's here hi owen uh, i see you have met stevie uh good morning sorry to show up unannounced i was hoping to update my data on the paris or all offices as you can imagine it's rather sketchy or is paris or all of i don't even know the pluralization i've never met one never mind two anyway then i noticed you've acquired a new friend a Gallimimus, and you've barely been here a week it took me months to get Bongo to follow me home. Now, I don't mean to brag, but I'm kind of the expert around here on the Gallimimus. In fact, I got volumes of information on dinosaur care. Some observed much theoretical or extrapolated, but all useful. Is there anything that might be vexing you with regard to Gallimimus care or dinosaur happiness in general? Uh, dreamstones, I guess. How do they work? I noticed that Lucky's pen already had a dreamstone. Dreamstones are the most crucial element to a dinosaur's comfort. Science can't explain why they love them so much, but they most certainly do. If you haven't got one, you may wake up one morning and find they've run off to find one themselves. Speaking of which, keep your eyes open. Dreamstones are rare in the wild, 
but if you're bringing home new friends, you'll need them. Anything else you'd like to know? Diets, maybe? Just like people, dinosaurs can be very finicky about what, when, and how much they eat. First, quantity. It shouldn't surprise you that big ones eat big meals and small ones eat small meals. Best to keep their troughs topped up. Second, basic nutrition. Herbivores eat herbo, kibble, carnivores eat carno kibble. You can purchase both at Boba Plaza from Corlin's stall. By the way, don't go putting carno kibble in a herbivore trough. That's more insulting than not feeding them at all. Third, flavor. Every species has a new flavors they like, and some they can't stand. For example, a Gallimimus generally likes crunchy things. Carrots, bell peppers, rhubarb, etc. Others might prefer juicy or spicy things. But individually, each dinosaur has a favorite food. Bongo loves garlic, for example. Worst breath ever. I don't have all the answers for every dinosaur, but keep trying things and be sure to keep any findings logged in the journal I gave you. Anything else you'd like to know? Why does this say pen? When caring for a dinosaur, their pen represents a space they can call their own. Oh, it's it's like a like a dinosaur pen, not like a writing pen. They like their pen to be a decent size comparative to themselves and be fully enclosed. Well, not fully enclosed, with a gate, of course. And the gate is always open so they can come and go as they please. A good pen needs a place to eat, a place to sleep, and to be kept tidy. You'll know what I mean about keeping tidy soon enough. Trust me, you'll want a shovel. Okay, uh, trust. Now the most important thing to remember about living with dinosaurs is this. You don't own them. They're not pets or property, they're your friends. And it's their choice whether they stay with you or head back out into the wild. The better you treat them, the more they'll trust you and the longer they'll stick around. If they trust you enough, they'll offer to be your steed. In fact, some might even like to help out around the ranch. They'll let you know when they're steed worthy. Oh, okay, so I couldn't just slap a saddle on them and, you know, call it a day. But get yourself a saddle before you do anything like that. Trust me, I learned the hard way. All right, I am good, thanks. Well, I hope you found this conversation enlightening. I did. I have one favor to ask, or perhaps you can accept it as a recommendation. Anything you learn about any species at all, could you please log it in your journal? Your journal is a vessel to house new discoveries, learned preferences, traits, flavors, and much more. Use it often, and you'll never forget anything. Plus, I may want to compare notes now and then. The life of a scientist is never dull. If I may be so bold, allow me to be the first to welcome you to the breathtaking world of data entry, starting with Stevie. All right, um, so let's note down Stevie. All right, Gallimime is discovered. Nice. And there's Stevie. Look at him. That's it. Keep holding the journal out like that. See how Stevie is feeling. The heart is how much Stevie trusts you. The circle around it shows how happy they are right now. The happier Dino is, the more they'll trust you each day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a big day planned. Destination? My library. Okay, Owen. Um, you do you. Uh, okay. Use the flute to get Stevie's attention. Okay. What's up, Stevie? I'd like you to follow me. Lead Stevie to a pen. Use the flute to ask Stevie to stay in the pen. Come on, Stevie. This is your home, Stevie. Stevie has a new home. Put some food in a trough for Stevie. Do I have a second trough? I don't have a second trough. Okay, well, I take it you're a herbivore? So I guess I'll put some herbivore food in your trough. There we go. Uh, hopefully that works. Lucky's happy, Stevie is happy. Okay, so Stevie is a herbivore. All right, cool. Pet Stevie's nose. I would love to. Mm, he's so cute. I love him. And his, his little dad, he's just like... Okay, Stevie, looks like you're all settled in. I'll check back tomorrow with the journal like Owen told me. Well, we got the little, the funky little dream stone. I guess actually since Lucky has some more stamina, I'm going to clear up this a bit. But anyway... There we go. And actually, let's go check on our carrots. All right, they're growing. I don't know how to tell if they're done or not, but they are certainly growing. Let's check quests. Okay, I still need to just grow stuff. But anyway, I do want to head over to the little town square area here so that I can go meet Pippin because it should no longer be uh, baking day. All right, it looks like Pippin's up here. Oh, Pippin's so small. Hey, Beetle Squid, welcome back to Pebble Plaza. I don't think you met Pippin last time you were here. Pippin, this is Beetle Squid. Hello, I'm Pippin. I sure hope so. Pippin makes poppins. Yes, I make poppins. Poppins are like 
little cakes. Oh, so they are cakes. Um, excuse me, they are not like little cakes. Marlo, poppins are a cultural tradition from an age-old family recipe. Tell me something, beta squid. How would you describe a cake? Sweet, moist, or spongy? I guess spongy. Exactly. See, Marlo? As per tradition, poppins are crunchy, dry, salty, crunchy, and taste of absolutely nothing like cakes. Thank you very much. My bad. It's been a while since I had one. I'd forgotten their charm. Would you like one beta squid? They're really good. That's what everyone says. Ask Mary. She buys them every day. I would love one. Enjoy. There's no crunch more satisfying than biting into a poppin. That's 100 shells, please. You making me buy stuff already? Pippin, beta squid is new to the neighborhood. Okay. 95 shells then. Really, Pippin? Okay, fine. Guess you can just have that one. Anyway, that's a poppin. If you need any more, Pippin's got you covered. Except on baking days, when my stall is closed. That's the day I make more. It's nice to meet you, Beauty Squid. You're a very silly little person, aren't you? Anyway, do I have a poppin? I do. Can I eat it? Can I eat the poppin? Please? I, I can't eat it. Why can't I eat it? I want to eat the poppin. Oh. Okay. Hi, Corlin. Uh, let's chat. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's my uncle's budding day, and I completely forgot until a few minutes ago. So, you have any dandelions or clovers? There's nothing Uncle Taz loves more. Fifteen of each should do the trick. No, sorry. Well, if you find the flowers soon, come on back, and we'll work something out. Okay, coolio, see you later, Corlin. And Marlo, what's good, Marlo? What can I do for you this fine day? Let's chat. Between you and me, it's getting a bit rough with the path to Dapplewood blocked. I'm doing my best to keep up with the needs of the community, but it's tricky without my tools back home. My makeshift stone tools are really starting to wear out. Hey, with all that clearing you've been doing on your ranch, would you have about 10 stones you could give me? Yes, I do. Wow, thanks so much. New tools will really help out around here. I really owe you one, which reminds me. Take these. It's stock. I can easily replenish. Thanks for your help. I didn't see what it was. Always great to see you. Always great to see you too, and thanks for whatever it was that you gave me. Oh, it was fence posts. Okay. Yeah, those will be really helpful. Alright, so we still got our Parasaurolophus quests, the Dapplewood stuff, and Granny's carrots, and now we got to find some flowers. Okay, let's go find flowers. Here's a clover. Which flowers did Corlin need again? Clovers and dandelions. I would assume they'd just be in, like, fields and stuff, right? Or, oh, Mary, hi, what are, you, what are you doing out here with your raptor? At least I think it's a raptor. Hey, stranger, nice to see you again. Golly, I still can't believe it. A real live Parasaurolophus living right around the corner. She's beautiful. What did you say her name was again? Lucky. Well, I reckon I'm lucky to have met ya. Okay, Mary. You know, no one's seen a Parasaurolophus in this neck of the woods in a raptor's age. And I should know. I've been to the tree line of Dapplewood all the way to the edge of Ericotta Canyon. Oh, I wonder if that's what the uh, area on like the bottom right is on the map. They're not gone. I've seen tracks, scuffs, markings, and other unmentionable evidence if you catch my drift. They're just, what's the word? Elusive. But hey, who knows? Maybe Lucky will bring them out of hiding. Until then, I'm just gonna have to give all my love to this one. What's Lucky's favorite food? Oh, I... I don't know. Tomatoes? Tomatoes, I like those too. Kindred spirits, Lucky and me. Here, I don't mind sharing a few. Thanks, if I spot any Parasaurolophus tracks around, you'll be the first to know. In the meantime, don't be a stranger. I don't know if Lucky will like those, but thanks, I guess. But anyway, that's all the time I got for this week's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do drop a like and consider subscribing. I'm really enjoying this game so far, and I hope you guys are too. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.